Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart back here at Hardball Academy in Pearland, Texas with Hitting Done Right. For this next instructional video, I'm going to talk about using your hands. Okay, This is something that, in my opinion, is lost a whole, whole lot with youth hitters in the high school, even with the college level sometimes when players come in and we start to work. Everybody has gotten so locked in on turning to contact and turning the barrel that the actual importance and use of our hands in the swing is sometimes lost and not talked about enough, okay? Absolutely, we don't wanna get handsy, meaning once we get into the swing, we don't want our hands to be the first thing to come out and go to the baseball or softball. It's gonna get you choppy, okay? You're not gonna have the turn speed to go with that, therefore the barrel speed, Therefore, the exit velocity, etc. Okay, we do have to use the turn. But at some point, our hands have to deliver the barrel and get going in the direction of the baseball. Okay, so that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. And then I'm going to show you just a couple simple drills to work on this with your hitters. Okay, so we get from load into our launch position, we turn, we get to connection. Okay, I talk about turning the corner or as we get into our belly button with that knob, which would be right in here, belly button to the knob, okay? Knob in the direction of the ball. From this point now, we have to let those hands start to work, okay? If we simply got here and just turned, you're gonna miss probably three quarters of the plate, okay? So at some point, the hands do have to deliver the barrel. If that pitch is down and away, okay? We're gonna come, get into a connection, start to come out of connection a little earlier. There my hands go, stay into the inside, deliver the barrel there. That pitch is more on the inside, fits down and in. As I get turning, now my hands have to go down a little bit, stay above the ball, down a little bit, and then deliver the barrel. So it's not as simple as just, hey, we're gonna get turning and turn to contact. We have to have direction, okay? And like I said, as soon as we get turning, get kind of that knob to the belly button idea, the hands now have to start working more towards location. It can't simply be just the turn. All right, so let's hop into some really easy drills. And the first one I like to do, set that tee right in the middle of the plate. Okay, I don't want to get to where I feel like I'm reaching so much with the hands. It's just directly with the hands. I love the insider bat, okay? Works obviously to stay inside and allows us some lighter weight when we're using our hands isolated or individually, all right? Front foot, I like to set on that front edge of home plate, get into launch, and then there's not gonna be a turn and release with this. It is just gonna be the hand. Work a couple in that location. Then you can move that. You want to get to the inside, great. Same setup with the front foot, just the hand. Move down and away, great. Same setup, just the hand. Okay, that one I came around just a little bit and you can really feel that kind of that flip right there. We want to be able to work through, that one wasn't very good. You can do the same thing with the top hand. Right there, set that up, just the hand, and through. Okay, so really, really simple. Get you an insider bat. You can always just choke up on your bat if you'd like and do the same thing, but we are taking away the turn here and just isolating the hands. All right, then once you go and get into your bat, okay? Right there, I always like to start on that down and away. That's the hardest pitch for younger players to hit. They don't work on it enough, number one, and they like to pull the ball, number two. That's a video for a different day, though. Got to learn to hit the ball the other way. So, again, set up, launch position. We are not getting into the turn and releasing. We're just going to use the hands. Keeping that head down, just the hands. Rolled over that one again, okay? And you can feel it really quickly when you screw it up. That one was really bad, okay? One more time, there we go. 
nice and through, using your hands there. Again, move it around the zone. Make sure that you're using, getting the contact points in the right spot though, okay? Did a video on that a while back, proper T placement. This one's gonna be out front just a little bit. It's a little bit more to the inside. Right there, using the hands. So, the hands are important. Don't forget to train them when you're going through your sessions, okay? Young players, it's a really good way to warm up. You see the top guys in the world, top ladies in the world, working isolation all the time because they understand the importance of your hands. So, I hope that information helps. Until next time, I appreciate all the support. If you have any questions, let me know. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all be good.